Hi, I'm Ryan Olson, editor of Concrete Contractor Magazine. In May of 2014, I had the extraordinary opportunity to visit the Panama Canal expansion project. What you are about to see are images and video footage that you may have never seen before. I hope you enjoy it. To date, crews have unloaded 105,000 tons of steel and have used 86,000 tons of it. Gatun Lake was artificially created in 1913 by the damming of the Chagre River and is an essential part of the Panama Canal which forms a water passage between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans permitting ships to travel in both directions. Situated just outside the job site are the locked doors that will be installed in the canal once the walls are complete. Pictured here is an actual location within the canal where those locked doors will be installed. To create the concrete walls of the new Panama Canal, a marine mix was designed and it will be used for any part of the locks that comes into contact with water. In addition to compressive strength and reduced shrinkage, the concrete had to be formulated to guarantee a 100-year lifespan with low permeability. These markings on the canal wall will be used by canal workers to monitor the level of the water within the canal once it is open and functioning. The canal walls at its highest point are 100 feet tall. Each of these new lock complexes will have three consecutive chambers designed to move vessels from sea level to the level of Gatun Lake and back down again. The third set of locks at the Panama Canal will be environmentally friendly. In fact, water basins will be constructed in order for the locks to use and reuse water thus reducing the environmental impact. As of the date of my visit here, more than 5 million cubic meters of low slump concrete has been placed. The third set of locks is scheduled to open in January 2016. 